Riot Games recently revealed their brand new first person tactical shooter game called Valorant which was previously known as Project A. This game seems to be a hardcore blend of the structure and gun mechanics of Counter Strike along with the coordinated chaos of Overwatch's abilities and character pull. Hey guys welcome to Gamer Connect this is me Decker and today we're going to talk about everything we know about Valorant. For now, Valorant features 8 different characters or agents, namely Sage, Brimstone, Jet, Phoenix, Viper, Sova, Omen, and Cypher. Each of these characters has 4 different abilities, one of which is a signature ability which gets replenished every round, two other abilities that can be purchased at the beginning of the round which can be also carried over to the next round if it is not used, and finally an ultimate ability that has to be charged by getting kills. After you queue up and find a match, you are taken to the character selection screen where you choose the agents you want to play with. Now you can only choose the character once during the entire match and after you have logged down to an agent, you won't be able to switch back from it. Any of the agents can be chosen by only one player from each team. Every game of Valorant is determined on the basis of the best of 25 rounds and the first team to win 13 rounds wins the game. Both teams play 12 rounds of offense or defense and then switch sides with their opponents for the other 12 rounds. Every round in a single match happens over 3 phases. The first phase is the preparation phase where the players are free to move over the limited spawn area whose exits are blocked by blue screens and during this phase players take their time to use their earned credits to buy weapons and abilities to enhance their gameplay. The next phase is the action phase where both the teams fight against each other for 1 minute and 30 seconds and it comes to an end when the bomb is detonated, disarmed or the enemy team is eliminated. Now comes the last phase with a brief span of 6 seconds where the winning team can pick up any dropped weapons they want to carry over to the next round. Valorant has a basic economy system almost similar to that of Counter Strike. At the beginning of the first round, players have 800 credits to buy sidearms along with other equipment. After the end of each round, players are awarded with credits based on the number of kills, the spike planted or diffused, and on winning or losing the round. If you find one of your teammates is low on credits, then you can buy for them directly into their inventory. You also don't need to worry about miss buying your weapons because as long as the preparation phase is on, you can sell back the items to get back the credits. Now moving on to the gun mechanics, guns have recoil patterns with minimal variations over different weapons. Bullet penetration is present in the game, if you shoot an object or a wall and you see bullet hole then it can be shot through and if there isn't a bullet hole there is no way to shoot through that object. The game features a practice range dedicated to improving your gameplay in every manner. The main area has an aim training exercise which allows you to shoot bots and helps to increase the reaction time. Other areas include damage and spray pattern tests for weapons over different ranges and a place to test spike planting and diffusing. Apart from all this, there's also a parker course that aids in improving your movement. So that was everything we know about Valorant, the game is supposed to release in the summer of 2020, although Riot Games has not yet revealed anything about the final release date. Beta keys for the games are available in some regions which you can get from Twitch drops while watching any Valorant streams. That was it for the video, let me know your thoughts about Valorant in the comments down below and make sure to like, subscribe and follow GamerConnect.in for more videos like this.